I'm Sanuja and I will explain how you can fix the overclocking fail error. You may have come across this error on your PC with Intel processors that are capable of overclocking. It could be caused by several reasons including corruption in the BIOS or UEFI files or some kind of a frequency setting issue. I will not go into detail about what may be causing the problem but regardless of the cause Today we will look into how we can fix it either by changing the UEFI configuration or changing the settings of the UEFI to default. Please note this guide is written based on the ASUS UEFI firmware. However, the steps shown here can be applied to other manufacturers. I will also leave a link to the website article in the description in case you guys want to go into details and go through that. So the first thing you will notice is when you boot up your computer, you will end up with similar screen like this. It'll have the motherboard manufacturer information, in this case ASUS, and the BIOS uh, uh, firmware manufacturer, which will be whatever, in this case, Megatrends. And it'll have some kind of information about your computer, such as your CPU type, the speed, uh, USB drives, the memory, etc. The error should show up on the bottom of the screen. Typically, it will show up as overclocking failed. Please enter setup to reconfigure your system. And it will give you an option to go into the settings. Another error message you may get on other manufacturers, uh, such as MSI, uh, would be something like warning the previous performance of overclocking is failed and the system is restored to the default settings, press any key to go into setup. This should let you get into the, your BIOS or UEFI settings, but if it didn't, that way I will show you another option to get there. But at the end of the day, the problem here is that you will end up with this screen and you can't go anywhere. To fix it, first we will enter the BIOS or UEFI, and on the UEFI, you will see a couple of options. The easiest way to fix this is to set everything to default. So in this particular UEFI, you can press F5 and it will set the whole thing into default. If the default setting didn't work, you still end up with this screen even after default. What you can do, you can go into advanced mode and make sure you are in power savings in here. And under advanced mode, you will see an option um, under AI tweakers, or sometimes it'll say um, the overclocking options. You have something to do with uh, manual settings of overclocking. So in here, uh, we have something called system level up. This is what the ASUS call for their overclocking uh, method. And it should be set to auto. However, if the auto is not working, you can change the system level up to the lowest settings possible. So in this case, it will be 3.8 G gigahertz in G actually stands for gigahertz. And that should be the default settings. So first you set to auto, reboot the computer. If you still end up with the same uh, overclocking failure screen, you're gonna set it to the lowest possible setting possible. And then you will go to the boot options and make sure that under boot option number one, you have set it to Windows boot. Because if not, it could also cause a similar error message. Then you can reboot the computer and you should be good to go. But if you still end up having the same, same problem, even after setting it to auto, then you can go into back into advanced options on your UEFI and change the CPU configuration settings. I can't tell you exactly what will work, but you can play with different options and different variations of configurations uh, and then see how it'll play out. So like for example, Intel Adaptive Thermal Monitor. Enabling this may cause the same error. I know it says overclocking, it has nothing to do with Intel Adaptive Thermal Monitor, but sometimes changing this option could cause certain errors. So you can play with these options until you get 
to the point where it doesn't actually you know get that error message so as i mentioned before try to set it everything to default and if the default doesn't work set the entire thing to auto right here and the advanced option if that doesn't work then you're gonna go and change these advanced options now another problem that you may come across is that it will boot up and then show overclocking fail error message however it will not give you an option to enter bios even in the boot up sometimes the bios option and bios uh, key to enter to into bios will not work in that situation what you can do actually you can get a bootable um, windows cd windows installation cd or you can download windows iso file and put it into a usb drive it doesn't have to be your uh, windows version it doesn't need to be the exact version either you can get any windows 10 and above key and you can boot into that once you boot in you'll see an option called repair your computer so don't go in and install anything just click repair your computer on the next screen select troubleshoot under troubleshoot options in it will typically show advanced options in that select the uefi firmware settings now if you don't have a uefi it will it will actually set to your bios if not it will be uefi once you select that you'll be presented with this screen to restart and hit restart when the restart is complete you should be end up with your bios or or the uefi screen now if none of these method actually fix your problem there's one more thing we can do try to fix this issue that would be pulling the cmos battery out now to pull the CMOS battery out, make sure you read your motherboard manual or just open your case and find the battery. It should be a thin battery. And when you pull the CMOS battery out, make sure you are grounded because you could actually fry your board by um, electrostatic discharge. However, keep in mind that pulling the CMOS battery out may not always work because some modern motherboard and server board may have non-volatile memory that still keeps some of the configurations for UEFI BIOS settings. Hopefully this can be helpful for you to fix the issues. If not, you are more than welcome to contact me and I will also leave a link below in the description for the article on how to fix this problem. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a nice day. Thank you.